Today I've got this little uh, Kindle Fire here. This is a Kindle Fire HD 7 inch and I'm going to show you how to kind of save yourself a lot of headache. And I think this is a problem you probably a bunch of you guys are possibly running into. Um, so right now this is on CM11, Side Gemata or KitKat 4.4. That's what I'm running on this. But I'm just going to show you something. So I'm going to say we're stuck. So for, let's, just, let's just pretend here that our Kindle Fire HD 7 inch Tate, codename Tate, is stuck in kind of a boot loop. We've already installed the recovery, but uh, we can't actually, um, it just keeps booting into what I would call a uh, torp. So that's your second bootloader right there, and then it, it, you don't, you're not touching anything and it just keeps booting up into Team Win Recovery Project. So the only thing you can get booted into is right here. Um, it won't actually boot into any ROMs. You accidentally forgot to create an Android backup because if you had one you could just restore this and then you get it booting again. So, and you don't have a ROM on your device or on your internal SD card or any of that stuff. So you're kind of like, ah, how do I fix this? What do I got to do? Got to restore this thing with some firmware from Amazon. How am I going to get this thing working? Today I'm going to show you how to put that file on your device. So what you're going to do is go ahead and plug in your USB cable to your device. We'll do that really quick. If I can plug it in here. There we go. And my computer just recognized it. Now if this feature is working for you this is going to be a super easy way to do it and that's going to be go to mount and then go to mount USB storage and boom it would mount it and it would look like a flash drive on your computer. You could go into your, my computer and you'd see something that looks like a flash drive and you could copy files over. That would be nice if it functioned. It does not and I'll show you right here. This right here tells you that it's not mounting USB storage correctly. There was an error. Um, so it's like bummer. That would be so sweet. Awesome. I could send the files over. I could flash the ROM and I'd be good. Well, so just go ahead and hit the unmount button and you're here. now. Just so you guys can see this, you can go to advanced and you can go to file manager and you can look at all the files on your device. So what we're going to do is we're going to send them something to SD card. To make sure this worked, I tested it and I sent over this little JPEG, this KitKat JPEG and it does function with the commands we're going to give it. So just to show you, there's, there's, uh, I'll show you, go back to it. I'll show you there's, there's nothing in here that's any kind of ROM right here in the bottom. For these files there's some boot images and stuff like that but we want to send over that cm11 rom and send it over to this device so what i'm going to do is back out of the file manager leave it on this screen and we're going to go over to the computer because plugging this in does install some drivers and it installs adb drivers so we're going to be able to use adb to send those files to the device even though you can't see it as like a flash drive or something so let's go check that out all right, guys. So just to show you what I mean by those ADB drivers are installed, um, basically if you right-click on this, say highlight it, right-click, you can click to. I guess you have to do it on the icon, on the actual my computer icon. But anyway, it brings up Device Manager, which is this, and uh, you can do it from your desktop icon. So right here, you can see Kindle Fire, and you can see right here that you have Android ADB interface is functioning. So if that's working and you're in recovery like I showed on the, on the tablet, which it should be, because that what, what will install if you get this going, you're going to download Android uh, SDK and install it to your computer if you don't already have it on there. And it's going to leave you with this file in your C drive development. You're going to click on it. You're going to click through that. Click through that one. Here's SDK. And you're going to go to platform tools and you're going to get into this folder. This is your ADB fastboot folder. And then you're going to go down here and you're going to find what file you want to flash. So we're going to say it's this one. We're going to copy this. And this is the CM11 file. You also would want to flash, obviously, the Google applications also or the gaps. Um, but I'm just going to show you on one file just to show you how it functions. Oop, let me uh, open this up here. Go to platform tools. In platform tools here, just paste the file you want to send paste it and it's copying it over there we go there's the file listed right there 
So now the trick is, this is the trick. So what we're going to do is you're going to hold shift with nothing high selected here. Hold uh, shift on your keyboard, right click, open command window here. And we're going to give this thing some commands. So the first command you're going to give it is ADB devices and then hit enter. And if it's working correctly, you should see right here, this is a, like a serial number of your device basically. Could be any number really. And actually you can see it's actually a funny number. So, And then it says recovery, which is fine. Normally if you do this in a device that's functioning, it would say device, but whatever. And this looks like a generic serial number too. But that being said, that proves that your device is connected and functioning correctly. That's a very good sign. So once you've got that there, the next part is really pretty simple. Just type in ADB push space and then this is what I do because I think it's easier. Go ahead and go click on this, go right, rename, copy it, and back to your thing here and then paste it in. Paste. So it's ADB push this file and then you gotta put in locations. So slash SD card slash and then you gotta paste that file name in again right there and then you hit enter and it may take a second here but because it's a pretty good sized file and it'll, it'll spit back out that it, it pushed it over so I already pushed enter we're just waiting on it to push that file over to the device okay there we go it pushed it over told you it took basically 40 well on my computer it took 40 what 40 and a half seconds and let's go over to we're done on here you can close this window at this point or leave it open if you want to play with stuff whatever um, but we're gonna go ahead and go over to my device and I'll show you in that file manager that it is on the device now okay back to the device it's still sitting on the recovery screen and you're like let's hope that thing goes through right so go to advanced file manager Oh, you can actually already see it because we went to the right folder already. There it is. CM, right there, that one. Right there. CM11, that's the file we just pushed over. So now if you wanted to go ahead and install that, now that you've got it on your card, you know, you do a wipe. You swipe across and wipe it. I'm not going to wipe this. Go to install, and then it's going to be on yeah, SD card. That's you know, right there, SD card. And then it's just going to be right down there. There it is at the pretty much at the bottom. That's yeah, about it in the bottom, right there. And you just select the zip, and then you'll swipe across. Here, so we'll do that. Select it, swipe across, find the Google applications, which would be the other file you'd flash the exact same way over to your device. Select that one, swipe it across, flash them. When they're both done, it'll come up and say, do you want to reboot? Say, yeah, reboot. And you will have your custom ROM installed on your device that was stuck in recovery. So there you go, there's a lot of crazy cool things you can do with the Android SDK along with uh, ADB commands. You can do insane amount of stuff with them, honestly. There's all kinds of goodies you can do. So if you're going to do any hacking on your Kindle Fire HD 7 inch, highly, highly recommend having that, having a factory cable if you can get your hands on one and really reading up on this stuff, it is very good. So there you go, I hope this helps somebody out and saves you guys a lot of headaches. Um, I think it's pretty good information myself, talking to myself, haha. <laughs> anyway, talk to you guys later. Root Junkie, out.